I can do my research. I know that I can do my research. But quite honestly, I'm just too damn busy to be sitting in front of the computer and looking through the internet. But you know who I have that can do all that work for me? Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis is really good at investigating and getting doing all his homework. I believe he does YouTube full time, so he's able to do that. But I'm gonna watch one of his videos because I'm curious to know what's going on. This video is called Whoa Vicky Fooled Everyone and Bad Baby Fell For It. Everything explained. Okay, so I wanna know. I know that Whoa Vicky and Bad Baby have been going at it for years now. These little ass kids are going at it for some stupid shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut my mouth because this video is 25 minutes long and we gotta start watching. So Vicky has everyone food and today I'm gonna get into all of it and explain the whole situation between her and Bad Baby and what she actually has everyone food on. And I got some extra tea I'm gonna have to give you. Whoa, well, Vicky is very unattractive. Like. <laughs> hey, she's attracted to somebody, okay? Somebody's attracted to her, but definitely not me, okay? That one, that little girl is something else. She's whoa. <laughs> Guys, so let's get straight into the trauma. So Vicky and Danielle have been fighting for around almost two years. It's probably been a year and a couple of months. I've been beefing with this girl for about over a year now. I'm 19 now. I started beefing her when I was just turned 17 when I just got like famous. So the reason how the beef started between Wall Vicky and Bad Baby was due to someone that Bad Baby was talking to. About two years ago, just turned 17, Jesus she was like 16. Christ. So my homeboy, I ain't gonna say his name because he had did some messed up stuff. I'm oh, a Malik. Now that guy was named Malik. He's also a YouTuber for over 1 million subscribers and people have been telling me that he was the cameraman of Vicky's ex-boyfriend but I'm not sure how accurate that is. I do know he was Pretty Boy Fredo's cameraman but I'm not sure if he still is. Right, so I was like, my homie, like, it wasn't nothing between us. You know what I'm saying? We cool. We had really just met. She seen me hanging out with him. She don't even know me, bro. This is before I was even famous like that. This is when she had just went viral for the, oh, kiss me outside. How about that? Kiss me outside. How about that? I watched that show. Did y'all watch that show? The that that episode with Dr. Phil. She was a trip. She is some disrespectful little girl that needs her ass kicked, okay? But for some reason, because of that persona, she became famous. This is the United States, the country we live in, okay? I'm like, oh yeah, this is that little famous girl, this is a little crazy girl. So <laughs> I find out FaceTime Malik and they talk whatever talk, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, like, make sure to subscribe to Martin Lewis with the bell notification so you don't miss out on any other drama. It's and then she said, the like button and let get this video to 2,000 likes, okay? Now, allegedly, according to Vicky, Malik was using her to get some clout. He didn't really like her like that, whatever. He just trying to use her for the clout. So they FaceTime, whatever. While Vicky was in the same room with him. She see me in the background. Who you hanging out with? Why, Damn. You, why you cheating on me? Why you hanging out with these? I'm like, bitch, he ain't hanging on no other bitch. That's all I think I like that. She started going on, going on, going on. So boom, my friend recorded the video. Boom, I posted the video. I said, bitch, I'm talking like, for crazy. Boom, posted the video. And that's the first argument we have ever seen between Vicky and I, Bad Baby. I didn't that see was it. All over social media during see it. that time. Show me. Shut up. Shut up. I'll get your. Put your titties up. The ratchetness of it all. They put everything on social media. Everything. This, so basically, we have the, a timeline to their fighting of two years on social media. And look, it's been two years and we still have proof of it all. That's crazy. Boom, ever since then, it's been beef. It's been beef. So, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get my 
So like she's sending this boy all types of nasty messages. He was 13 years old. What are you? Now Vicky showed no receipts, but allegedly, according to her, Bad Baby was sending her threats. Like this little girl talking about, oh she gonna kill me when she see me. She gonna move the wood. I believe it. Talking to her man, I wasn't even talking to him, bro. Okay. I actually believe I actually believe her because it's been two years. Why keep the same lie for two years? Why? What do you gain from it? So I actually believe her. Back and forth with each other for years. She's like, oh yeah, become I'm gonna mess you up, I'm gonna F you up, you little white girl, woo -woo -woo. you wanna take my man, you wanna be black, woo -woo -woo. <laughs> you could never be like me, she can send all this stuff. Now after all that stuff ended, allegedly Bad Baby wanted to get with Vicky. This is after we got an argument over Malik, she tried to talk to me like, to the, she was like, oh yeah Vicky, you cute, I'm gay, I like girls, What? I'll talk to you. I was like, girl, bye. I'm not getting into that. Boom. <laughs> so that was all what? over. Yeah, that's a boom. Hold on. So, bad baby's bisexual? I didn't know that. Vicky seems to be missing a lot in the story. Not talking about how she told our bad baby how she wanted to meet up with her. Hey, but guess what? I'm up. If you want it now, you scared? You know how bitch is, bitch. And basically doing her best to get Bad Baby's reaction. And allegedly, Bad Baby wanted to apologize to Vicky according to Malik. Same boy, Malik, right? He called me and my people. He was like, hey, I'm gonna be at the Glenda Galleria. Hey, she's up here. She said she wanna meet up with Vicky. She said for me to tell Vicky to come. Said she wanna apologize. So boom, we go. She said, you wanna apologize? Okay, back. And that's when <laughs> another video went viral of her and Vicky fighting. This was the time when Lil Tay was around. Oh, I I saw this one. I saw this one. Martin's funny, yo. Look at this. The ratchetness. Look at this. Look at this little one. The ratchetness. Look at this. She comes, here she comes. Bam, bitch. Bam. She barely touched her head though. Look. <laughs> she got she got her like this. Her hand slip slid right through that hair. Oh my god. Little girl. Little girl, keep on walking. Little girl. You too, little girl. You too. This look at this little one. Little Tay. Bad ratchet club. She then explains how she feels that it would. Listen, you, both y'all are dumb. Both y'all are dumb. Young and dumb. Do you guys actually let a boy bring you guys to a place to fight? Do you understand that? You fought for a boy. A boy that supposedly whoa, whoa Vicky didn't even fuck with. Boys do that though. Boys love when girls fight over them. They take so much pride into that. Was this set up? Mind you, after this, I had just turned 18. This was in March. Little girl is not dumb. She set me up. Why was we beefing a whole year before that? You waited until I turned 18 to come try to fight me. On top of that, I had just got arrested for trespassing. Damn. What are the like fighting a little 15 year old girl when I just turned 18 in a public area? It's a rich area. I'm gonna get arrested. I'm gonna get some time. I thought you wanna apologize, so that's why I was really like looking off guard. It's like, damn, what just happened? That's why in the video you can see I was smiling and stuff. <laughs> Martin. So the girl had tried to snuck me because her because her bodyguard had hit my friend. I was like, damn, nah, you ain't had to do that. Like, ain't Go ahead, Martin. Hey, like, hey, like, hey, like, hey. Like, hey, like, hey, hey. Like, hey. Like, my people and his heart because why would you hit them they, they do them to you it's not true because the video footage martin did a good job with that because i stopped listening to her when he started juking and i had to see that little twerk real quick it does not lie and he did not punch them okay so as you can see he they're chatting and stuff the security is the guy with the hoodie best to protect and soon you will see that he pushes the guy because she i think the security feels that the guy's come too close to danielle and that's his job he's got to protect her right so wait a second you'll see it's not like he pushes for no reason see He's just to protect That was her. it. I don't so exaggerated. Doing it to Look her. at Whoa Vicky. Why the fuck is she in the floor? What is she Again, doing trying to get in between his legs? Not to hurt him, just to protect Daniela. 
So as you can see, he did not punch her. Then Daniela goes and sneak. <laughs> little girl, come on behind me and boom, try to sneak me. I ain't feel nothing. That shit felt like a little pinch. Yeah, that was nothing. Like, that was little nothing. Girl, like this small, and I'm like, I'm tall. Like. But Vicky, didn't you tell everyone that that was staged? Um, was that real? Um, no, nah, not really. So that beef was made up. Yeah, it was. It was just staged. There was so much going on, and it was all staged for engagement. Yeah. So y'all all are cool? Um, for the most part, yeah. She also had a video explaining how it was staged. She also showed these receipts. Why the F would I pull a publicity stunt with someone this small and irrelevant? What's next? I'm a script a stunt with Honey Boo Boo. As you can see, Vicky's not stupid, and she fooled everyone. Everyone was eating out of her hand and really believed her. In a video by TMZ, who was into involved Vicky, this was during the time when Tentacion passed away, she was saying... Now, I decided to squash it because, you know, with the with the passing of X, it show you that every day is not promised. So right. it's no, it's no, it's no need to have that negativity, have beef with people, especially I don't even know the girl who could be. You know what I'm saying? She oh, could I be respect cool. that. Would you really use his death? A part of your fake storyline, Vicky. Let's be real. Would you really use his death for your fake storyline to be like, oh, we're moving on. We're, you know, real uh, someone like someone with some respect and dignity <laughs> wouldn't use someone's death a part of their fake storyline. Because it wasn't a fake storyline. It was real. So Vicky Yeah, it was real. Used his death for your fake You can tell that in the interview, you can tell that when she was hesitating that she was lying. Hold on, my dog's barking. All right. Storyline, or it wasn't staged. And I'm gonna tell you why, guys. It wasn't she staged. Lying. It's real. It's staged in my conclusion. So keep watching. Martin, I can, I can read people pretty well, and I can tell that she lied in that interview. This shit was real was not staged. Because it is so obvious that this is a lie. Oh, let me know in the comment section below. Do you still think it's fake? Are you believing her thinking it's fake? Please, touch me. <laughs> After that situation, police came to Vicky's, I believe her ex-boyfriend's house or wherever she was staying at. After that shit, I was over, um, this one I was living in LA with my ex police came, everything. Unfortunately, I could not find the video footage. I know it was posted on Instagram a while back. I tried looking all over the internet for this footage, but I do know police was there. This was also confirmed by the ex-manager who I spoke to last year at Playlist Live in 2018. Because I spoke to the manager that Vicky used to have, the manager Bruh. at Playlist, and he was acting like he was real, and they even had cops come at the house. He also said that it was... That's one. A setup and that bad baby called the police on Vicky. Then y'all tried to divide Vicky and so her friends. So according to Vicky, the drama calmed down, everything went down, and Bad Baby tried to be friends with who she was friends with. So then, we tried to be cool with everybody I'm cool with, bro. Like, me and Melly Mama is like this. Like, that's my mama, right? She gonna try to be cool with them. And Melly Mama told me, like, hey, Vicky, sure you don't <coughs> have no problems with the girl, I'll check her ass right now. I was like, hey, look, business purposes for Melly. Go ahead, give her a chance. Talk. Well, on top of that, she tried to be friends with my people, Ocean Them. No idea who Ocean Them is. Please let me know in the comment section below. Vicky, listen. If she was trying to be friends with somebody in your circle, Expect for her to try expect for her to also become friends with everybody else in your circle You know why because everybody hangs out with each other. You don't own any of these people That's how other people meet other people. This is how friends man manage to happen. I Don't understand. I was in like 16. So mom she tried to go be cool with him and then go do a song with him I was just like what the freak like all she and her sister like I really yeah. So then when they went in the day, I was like, oh, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? For business purposes, it's cool, but I would respect them off. They came to me how Jamie did. Then Vicky makes the assumption that Bad Baby is being friends with these people because of her. She thinks these people are going to stop messing with people for her? Bro, I don't nobody care about that little drama shit. I'm going to say, yes, you do care, girl. You're looking off in the distance. You care. 
Oh. Now let's move on to the present situation, that fight that happened recently. If you want to see a really funny edit I did on the fight, go watch my previous video. The card should be there. So Vicky contacted this rapper that allegedly Bad Baby was talking to. Let's get back because I had the on the guy that I said, hey, what you doing? I'm trying to link. He sent me his number. I faked on him. I said, where you at? He said, I'm in the studio right now. I said, hey, you want to pull up? See, I'm on my slime. So I was like, okay, cool. See the location. Boom, I pulled up. It was cool. We listened to his music. She was fine. Right, we listened to him. We did about 45 minutes. We did chilling. We did chill out with my homeboy. He take pictures of my homegirl day. We did chilling in that bitch for about 45 minutes. And I told my homeboy, I said, yeah, I don't hope. Keep in mind, she says, I heard. I was like, yeah, what's the name? Probably gonna get mad because, you know, she used to talk to him. Then he goes, oh, what's the name? Probably gonna get mad. So this makes me think, did Vicky intentionally hang out with this guy to try to get bad baby's attention? I'm like, I know that's still, I don't even know the bitch still in Atlanta because that's how my chick, she did not live there. So now, according to bad baby, she got word that Vicky was at the studio. Um, I got word she was at Loud House. I've been wanting to keep this bitch. So I took my ass to Loud House, called, got myself in, got myself right in the door. Walked right in, asked where that session was, got myself right into that session. I'm sitting there, left, she walked in, I slammed through the door, asked where she was. The lights was off, he was recording with the lights. Little girl. I didn't see nobody. I asked where she, where she was. Uh, hey, what up, what up, what up, hey, what up, hey, what up, where, 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 where she at, where she at? She don't even see me in the back, she because the lights off because he was recording for me. All of a sudden I hear laughing. So I turn around, I see her. That Hunger was right here. I was right here. I had my feet kicked up in. Cash up was right up. So then she she picked me. She started running after me. Cash up, pick her little ass. So I said, like, <laughs> not going for none of that. Like, she looked goofy. Uh -huh. So I started recording. Ooh, I gotta watch that interview at No Jumper. Jump onto the couch. She starts recording. I'm trying to get to her. I got two guys holding me back. What the f I'm supposed to do with two big ass guys holding me back? First of all, bad baby, you ain't bad. You ain't bad. You're tiny, you're small, you're what? How old are you, 16 years old? You're a baby. Okay, you got the baby part right. Not bad, but you are a baby. They don't need that many guys around you to stop you from fighting her. All it takes is one guy, the one right in front of you, and just poke you out the way. They don't do, you're, you're such an exaggerator. You're over here acting like it's such a, it's so, it's so hard to get at her. You're gonna go crazy like this, you're like, Come on now. Come on now. Keep watching guys, we're gonna fill you in with that scene. Who the hell is that guy? Who's that? I'm gonna... So finally I do get to her. She tried to sneak up on me, my friend popped the ass and then that's when the fight happened. Also according to Vicky in an interview, she said that the girl that was also next to her, you will see her in the video, Popped bad baby. I don't know what the hell that means. What do you mean by pop? Because Punched she didn't have anything on her face. I don't know. I'm sure she did, but it was probably weak. They're still holding me. She's trying to do all that one homegirl with me. I don't know who the other guy was that was holding her back. She tried to say that's my people, but that's not my people. Okay, the other guy from the sounds of it sounds like he works at that studio place. It sounds like the guy actually that helped Bad Baby get into that particular studio <laughs> session. She's trying to get to me. I don't even know what happened. There's a whole clip missing. This girl's throwing punches, missing my body. You see me on the floor. I have her. I'm hitting her in her face. You don't no, you're see not. That. I, I, you're I, you ain't hitting her, her on top of me. I, the phone kid over here. I don't know. I blacked out. I don't even remember nothing what happened, bro. I blacked out. Now, way the fight turned out and they were just pulling hair and all that <laughs> that's when bad baby was saying let's get up and do everything the right way and you will see me in the video i keep telling her get up and let's do this the right way don't nobody hold me you got two seconds to get on you scrub the right way you're gonna do this the right way you want to do this the wrong way let me know you want to do this the right way come on man what kind of shit am i watching right now they're just laying on top of each other. That looks like some lesbian shit. They're not doing absolutely nothing. They're not swinging. They're not throwing each other around. Get off my hair! Look at this. Look at them. She didn't want to get up. Who talks? Who talks while they're fighting? Who's having a conversation while they're fighting? Then allegedly Vicky wet her with a water bottle. <gasps> How dramatic. I got a water bottle. She was in the front. I poured water all over her ass. 
And then let me tell you how this whole went grabbed a water bottle and threw the water bottle while dude was holding me against the wall. So then boom, I'm gonna show y'all the DM. She after that, we left. I told her got a boss, ah, y'all be safe, fuck with y'all. He like, yeah, my bad, husband let one stuff. Come up here. We left. I get back to the crib. She said to me, pull up to the studio, pull up to the studio. You scary, don't bring no news with you. Cause I told the I'm out of Lemon Street, come meet me. Lemon Street Studios, come meet me. I'll show y'all the DMs. I don't know. You live for the internet talking and I'm doing none of that. I can't speak their language. Y'all see, I ain't even reading all this because I don't understand their language. I ain't reading none of it. None of it at all. All y'all do is this for two years, this. <laughs> now, after the drama that happened, Vicky took it as an opportunity to make the worst diss track I have <laughs> ever heard towards Bad Baby. During the time as well, she was heavily promoting her social media platform. That's when Danielle ended up going live showing that she had no bruises on her body and that her ass didn't get whooped. Look at my body. It was out of nowhere. Get the she also said that she tried to get the full video footage from the studio and she couldn't get it. What? Where's the full video? Oh, you know, I asked, got it to ask the studio for the full video and they won't give it to me. She couldn't get it because maybe the staff will get in trouble for letting her in in the first place <laughs> and maybe they don't want that out. A bit too late now though since it's on Instagram and it's everywhere. That's just embarrassing. If I was the rapper working in that studio, okay? And I brought someone along with me. And some other bitch comes in and they're fighting in the damn studio, wasting my rec my recording session time, okay? I pay I'm paying for a session and you guys are fighting like dumbasses. Probably breaking equipment, throwing water around. Get the fuck out of my studio. And get the fuck out of my life. He was also heavily promoting her Instagram Girl. from what I have seen, witness, I'm the witness, unfortunately I didn't take screenshots of this, I should have, but she was heavily promoting, telling everyone if she got to 800k thousand subscribers, she will end up releasing a video explaining everything, but she, I don't think she got up to 800,000k and she ended up releasing a video anyway. In the video she ended up explaining the whole storyline. And she also added that that bad baby like had something wrong with her, like she has mental issues. Respect whatever kind of disability she got. She to probably does. Something, cause something not right in here. She probably does. She might need to go to the doctor and get that check out. Cause something not right in here. I'm telling you that right now. So added that bad baby has been sleeping around with <laughs> rappers. That girl like anybody she needs. Like, I believe it. She be, no. I'm not like that. We different. You know what I'm saying? She be. Doing all this stuff with all the rappers. I ain't gonna speak on it here because y'all kids, but she was doing all this stuff with all these rappers. And he's like, Come do it to me! <laughs> How did she know that's real? I believe it, and but it's sad though because the girl's only 16 years old, and I'm I'm hoping that she's using protection. Rappers be talking cap all the time. That's true too. In general. You know how many guys be saying, oh, I did this with that girl, did that, and then you find out it's not true. So how does that's she know for sure that that is the case? At the end of the video, she then ends up saying that she's going to pray for Danielle. I wish you the best. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to say, keep your head up. You got a lot of shit you need to uh, work on. Yeah, I don't know what it is with you and just trying to f*** all these rappers and then they're going to with you because you it ain't gonna work either but yeah this is a lesson to my young females also don't just go around effing dudes and expecting them to mess with you no now let's get to my conclusion Trying Vicky to get a has been trying to get a reaction from Bad Baby. That was her thing on the internet. Trolling people, trying to get a reaction to go viral and to get more followers. She did this with Snoop Dogg, Bad Baby. The black community. She trolled a lot of people with the help of the people that she was hanging out with. Hey. And every time, Bad Baby fell for it. <laughs> It is not staged. Vicky tricked everyone, tried to make everyone think it was staged. And guys, do not give them the benefit of the doubt, okay? That's 
in that stage, that's amazing acting. And if you're saying it's stage, you're basically telling them they're amazing actors. This is not staged at all. During this time when Vicky was saying it was staged, so on, this was during the time she was trying to clean up her image. She was trying to have this good girl image to portray herself <coughs> as a changed Excuse person. Me. I don't like them real me, you know. I don't want them thinking I'm actually like crazy like that, you know, a lot of the stuff I did, it wasn't really me, it was like people in my ear. Doing so would give her better brand deals, better opportunities. Not only that, it would also go viral again. Because people who usually fake things like that, that go viral, usually get talked about again when people say, oh, by the way, it was staged, and everyone's like, oh my god, they're so smart. They know how to get everyone's reaction. What's the point? of making Malik look bad. In this video, Vicky made Malik look hella bad, like a dog. Malik has not responded. I even contacted him trying yeah. to get some answers. He has not said anything about this. He has nothing to gain from Vicky saying it was staged. Because if it was, wouldn't he be saying stuff too? She's the only one saying it's staged. Because it's not. It is all done just to clean her image Martin, up. And she we know. knows Bad Baby won't say it's anything. It's common sense. Because Bad Baby doesn't want to give her attention. And just wants to fight her. A point of argument is me putting out more energy than I can be putting into face. I think Vicky does not Vicky make was that doing one. this to get Bad Baby's attention or it was just coincidence. You get pissed because that's her little boyfriend or whatever. I mean, I was like... I was like, you know. I love No Jumper, by the way. If y'all don't know who Adam22 is, look into it. Because I just started watching him and I am loving it. I will be react reacting to one of his videos. They just gotta be a little bit shorter so I can do that. You try to spike the up. You knew Bad Baby was gonna say something. Oh, no, no, I, I, shit like a TV show. Either way, Vicky won the situation. The fight, I have to say, was even. But it's not even about the fight. Bad Baby is so immature and young, she For thinks real. it's about, oh, who's the baddest bitch? Who's on top? That's who's sad. the one who won the fight? I ain't own that. Like, I didn't come. Like, I didn't call myself an Uber. My brother Yola wouldn't take me. I got out the car. I don't want to hear nothing till y'all see us face to face. Nobody holding me and you see me run up on the I want y'all to see how she got on top of me to begin with. Who cares, Stop girl? Stop playing with me. Who cares? Really, it's not about that. It's way deeper. You basically fell for a trap that <laughs> Vicky set up for you years ago. She set up a trap. You fell for it. And now she's milking it. The media was eating up. And this was something that has been edited as well. Vicky edited the video to make it look like a certain situation. To make it look like she was beating Bad babies, and really, it probably was not a fair situation. It didn't even look that way, though. People with real eyes can see that. It didn't even look like he was, she was beating her ass. She was just on top of her. That, that don't mean nothing. And it really shows how... By the end of the day, these, I'm, just, I'm gonna stop this video right now because these girls are dumb. I'm sorry, but they are. First of all, they're kids, and they think pride is more important to have in this world more than success so if that's how they want to succeed then go ahead and do that but y'all are entertaining the world and making your lives a lot harder just letting you know that okay i'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here thank you so much for watching like comment share and subscribe comment below let me know is bad baby dumb <laughs> is woe wiki dumb are they both stupid as hell I think so. Alright y'all, see you in the next video. Peace.